Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Pisces, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Yeah, fear and health. Somebody could be trying to get you to be worried about something so you can miss out on the opportunity. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. Somebody wants to see someone suffer. Someone, somebody wants to see somebody worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They, indigo and goddess. Somebody want to see someone worry. Mm -mm. That's the only only person that can stop this opportunity is you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Integrity. First card out. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody is mad because you have integrity. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't make it up. Visualize the sense. I'm telling you, there's a, a, a opportunity that's coming in that's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. Um, Spirit wants you to keep a, a, a clear mind, a clear mind at this time. Be open minded, okay? Because what, like I said, whatever this new adventure is, it's going to bring in a lot of pros prosperity. It's going to open a lot of doors for you. Yeah, freedom. What this freedom is giving me, like, this is your birthright to be free and abundant. And somebody is worried about you getting this opportunity. Yeah. So somebody can be trying to place fear. Yeah, whoever this person is that you release, somebody can be trying to place fear. Mm-hmm. Somebody is worried. It's like somebody worried about, there said somebody is worried about you getting something or worried about you having something, but you're not the one they need to be worried about. <laughs> okay. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, doubt. Okay. So if you've been having any doubt, Spirit is saying you need to release that doubt. Okay. Release the need to know all the answers. Okay. Something that's coming in, you're not gonna there's a, you're not gonna be able to get enough of it. Okay, there's no reason to have doubt or fear at this time at all. But I feel like somebody wants to put this in your, you know, put this on your, you know, on your path in your way. Give me another card for doubt. Yeah, crystals. Um, you could work with crystals, um, or needed to be working with crystals at this time, as you see fit. Okay, but Spirit is saying this, these crystals will um, bring in a lot of energy that's um, bringing a lot of energy to support you at this time, at, you know, your present situation. A lot of you guys can be healers as well. Give me more Holy Spirit release. I feel like whatever this doubt is, um, you're going to be able to like um, surpass it. You're going to be able to heal past this. Mediumship, um, heart chakra, and Archangel Raphael. So some of you guys could have the natural ability to, to connect with departed loved ones. Heart chakra, mm -hmm. Archangel. I'm telling you, somebody is a healer, a natural born healer. A lot of you guys are getting, you know, gifts and um, and upgrades, um, upgrades of your gifts as well. Something's gonna be, you know, material gain, a lot of um a lot of success and growth in every area of your life. What's this release, Holy Spirit? Release. Would you have a natural ability to connect with the part of love one? This can be some like with this visualized success, some type of inheritance from your um your ancestors. Release is clarified with trust. So whatever you release at this time, um, just trust that it, it was for your highest good, okay? Um, I'm also um, hearing that you need to, you're being called to um, have trust at this time, faith, okay? You're not going to know all the answers because something is way bigger, like way bigger than what you can see. So something is going on like in higher realms, okay? 
You're not going to know all the answers right now. You're not going to see everything right now. Everything is not being revealed to you. Only thing that divine wants you to do at this time is trust. Yes, gratitude. Can't make it up. It's surrender. Mm -hmm. Surrender. All you got to do is surrender and show and keep giving thanks. Keep giving thanks at this time. There's a, a, um, a shield around you as well. Mm -hmm. That's protecting you from outside energies, negative energies. Yeah, I can't make it up. There's a shield that's protecting you, Earth Angel. I'm here to I'm here to hide the man. Yeah. Past life issue and Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is protecting you from someone who's worried about you, worried about your life, worried about this opportunity that's coming. That's what I'm saying. I heard earlier. Somebody is worried about you, but you're not who they need to be worried about. They need to be worried about Archangel Michael. Okay? Yeah, abundance. <laughs> I'm telling you. Whoever you cancel, clear, and delete, and clear yourself from, listen. Somebody could be worried about something backfiring as well. Yeah. Archangel Raphael, you heal it from something. Okay? Maybe you speaking out about something with the throat um, chakra. Somebody could have been trying to affect your throat chakra to get you to not speak. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, you're not who they need. <laughs> yeah. Somebody got bigger problems, okay? Because your spirit team is on this person. Your archangels is on this person. Visualize success. Somebody feels like your life is way more important than, than, than theirs. Like somebody... <laughs> mm. Somebody wants you to miss out on something. I can't make it up. Visualize success is clarified with envy. Damn. Somebody is jealous of your success. They're jealous of some type of opportunity that's coming in for you. Whatever this abundance that's coming in for you, whatever this prosperity is, um, whatever the success that you're about to gain, Someone is worried about you getting it, okay? Someone is trying to stop this and prevent this from coming in for you. This is somebody who watches you. I heard earlier on social something about social media. Somebody is watching you trying to stop and prevent something from coming in for you. But Spirit is saying, you're not who they need to be worried about. They have bigger problems, okay? Bigger problem. Yeah, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Mm. And balance, Archangel Raphael is coming out again. Somebody didn't want you to heal from a situation. Yeah, somebody wants somebody to shut up. They don't want somebody to talk. Something about a sacral chakra and balance. <clears throat> Acceptance and envy. Whoever this person is from your past life, Okay, whoever this person is from your past life, they can't accept the fact that you're getting this success without them. Somebody feels like whatever this is, they want to be in your life. They want to be a part of it. And if they can't be a part of it, they want to cause some type of doubt or fear in your life. Okay? This could have been somebody who was trying to, you know, literally attack your sacral chakra, your throat chakra, comfort your health. Yeah, somebody feels like your life is more important than theirs. I feel like you seen the envy in this person and you walked away. There's a shield around you. But somebody is worried about something backfiring because they, they see that, that it didn't stop anything. You're still prospering. There's an opportunity that's still being granted to you by the divine because of your integrity. Okay. I'm hearing if, if you can believe it, it's, it's yours. Whoever this person is from your past life, okay, that can't accept the fact that you're being, you granted, you're being granted with this opportunity by the divine, whoever you decided to release and walk away from, this person is envying you. Yeah, they envy you because you're, look, it says indigo. You, the person you're inquiring about is indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you are this indigo. Yeah, I told you, Seiku Chakra. Gratitude. Heart Chakra. Mediumship. 
Listen, somebody was definitely trying to play with your chakras, okay? Trying to cause some type of imbalance. Mm -mm. I feel like with this mediumship, you are natural born. Um, you have the natural ability to connect with the parted loved ones. I feel like um, this gives me like high ranking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the force that you have behind you that's backing you up, nobody can see it. That's why I'm, I'm here right earlier. This person, you're not who they need to be worried about. They, <laughs> they got bigger problems, okay? And that's only for coming for someone like you who is so high ranking when it comes to the divine. I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, third eye chakra. Look, third eye chakra in abundance. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody, somebody is envies your, you know, um, your 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 higher consciousness, your 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 higher consciousness, your your, your connection with the, the divine. They don't like that. Okay, they don't like your gifts with this abundance. They don't like your gifts. Okay, they cannot stand at your natural born leader. But you have a shield around you. It says shield yourself and you are a powerful light worker. Somebody doesn't like the fact that your get your 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 natural born gifts brings you abundance. Yeah. Somebody doesn't like that your gifts bring you success. It brings you abundance. So somebody could have definitely been trying to attack those, you know, your chakras. Mm -hmm. Third eye chakra, heart chakra, sacral chakra out here, indigo. Gratitude. Somebody was trying to attack. I'm telling you, a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. I'm telling you, they worried about the wrong. Um, listen, they need to be worried about whoever this envious person is. They need to be worried about what's coming for them. Yeah, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Cancel, clear, and delete. You cancel someone out your life because you see right through them. And they're not taking it well. This is somebody who's envious as hell over you. And the only reason why they want to be a part of your life, they're not, they're, it's not genuine. It's just to reap whatever the benefits that, that comes with who whoever you are for the divine. That's all. They just want to have a seat at your table. But this person really envies you. And somebody definitely was trying to throw something so one way to try to attack them. My spirit is saying, who shall? Who shall? They got bigger problems to be worried about. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it's the forces that they can't see. <clears throat> yeah. I told you I seen it. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Look. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, and a Four Warren. I'm telling you. The Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four Warrens. This stability, this, this, this stuff. I told you, I seen the Ace of Pentacles earlier in my third eye. This Ace of Pentacles, this abundance that's coming in for you with the Tower, the Four Warrens, that's going to bring you in a lot of stability. It's shocking to whoever this person is. It's shocking. Very shocking. The Moon to the Five of Swords. I feel like this person was hiding how je jealous they were of you. Mm hmm. Yeah, Justice. Yeah, karma is at play right now. Yeah. Whoever you turned your back from, karma is definitely at play. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get that card. Uh, yeah. They were trying to stop and prevent this from coming in. <clears throat> Nine of Cups. <laughs> yeah, something is wish, wish, wish fulfillment for you. It sure is. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. <laughs> yep. The Death card and the Star. Somebody with the Moon? Wow. Somebody could have been trying to do death magic on the Star. I heard a celebrity. So someone, listen. Ooh, child. The Moon, the Star, and the Death card. Somebody could have been trying to throw death magic at a Star. It backfired. 
Somebody about to get severe karma. That's what I'm telling you. I heard it. Somebody, you are not who they need to be worried about. What's coming for them? Ooh, shit. Somebody doesn't like that a position is being changed. Now, take that how it resonates. You could be at a job and um, something about the position is changing. So somebody who once was in one position is being turned over to you. Ooh, child. Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Maybe you were studying for this position. Maybe you was um, you went to school, you know. Maybe you... Um, you know, you took more courses. Maybe you took a class, or a trade, or something you got more knowledgeable about, Sunseeds. Or whoever, whoever, um, maybe um, this position wants you because they feel like you're a quick learner, okay? You're very intelligent. But, but the Six of Pentacles to the Six of Swords, um, you could be traveling, you could be moving away um, for this opportunity, or this could just be you just um, moving up on your journey. Yeah. And it's going to bring in a lot of stability. It's like since you healed one thing, it's like now you're being moved up. Yeah, I can't make it up. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. There's some type of breakthrough that's coming in. And I feel like it was hitting the moon to the devil. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this pro, whoever these people is or this person is, they know they can't do nothing. So with the moon to the devil, it's like someone is projecting and sending some energy of fear and doubt. Okay, yeah. So you can like mess this up or sabotage it. What's the integrity, Holy Spirit? Integrity. Thank you. Three of Cups. Like whatever this opportunity is, it's gonna it's like you're gonna be working with like minded people like you, people who have integrity. Um it's gonna it's giving me like a lot of fun times. <laughs> people of of your tribe, okay? People of your tribe, people you're gonna be collabing with, working together with, okay. <clears throat> a lot of engagement, a lot of inter a lot of interaction. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Shrimp card. Yeah, somebody is moving up. Yeah, three of wands as well. Yeah, I feel like your your resilience and you being brave and, and courageous at this time, um, it, it it's bringing you to a new level, a new level that brings in a lot of success, wealth. Yeah, three of wands. You could be definitely traveling for this. Uh -huh. Or this could have been something that you was waiting for to come in. You was waiting for this opportunity. Yeah, something is going to be like life, life experience and changing for you. Yeah, judgment. Mm -hmm. Something is going to be like life experience changing, but like in a great way. I'm hearing you deserve it. Give me more Holy Spirit, the Three of Cups, Integrity, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. So something's gonna be very adventurous. Mm. This, this is something that um you're gonna have to take a risk. Yeah. You're gonna have to be brave and take this risk at this time. Okay, because someone is trying to point, I mean, put doubt in you that this can't happen. Spirit is saying, yes, it can happen and it will happen. Okay. Whoever this person that you cancel clear and delete out your life is trying to send some type of projection or entity towards you. Yeah, page of swords, and they watch you. The emperor to the will of fortune. Something is changing, Sunseeds. Okay, something is changing in your stability. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be getting a new home. Okay. Something that you're going to be able to celebrate. Something that you're going to be very happy about. What's this? You're a powerful light worker. You're a powerful light worker. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nine of Swords. Um, guilt, regret, um, remorse, worry, unfocused, unbalanced, breaking point. What's this Nine of Swords? You are powerful light work. What's the Nine of Swords? Wow. Four, I mean, Five of Swords. 
and four cups. I'm telling you, someone is trying to project the energy to uh, 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 someone who's a powerful light worker. This is a bully. Mm -hmm. This is a bully. Whoever this bully is, they trying to literally spiritually try to get you to self-sabotage this opportunity that they know is coming in for you. Okay? This is somebody who didn't uh, expect you to fight back. This is somebody who was expecting you to lay down. This is a spiritual bully. I'm telling you. Four cups. This is somebody who daydreams about you all the time, who's in regret because they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Yes, seven of swords, queen of cups. Listen, this person is sneaky as hell. They is sneaky as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they sneaky. <clears throat> What's the four cups? Somebody was trying to project some energy onto you because this person is a spiritual bully. Yeah. The Empress. The Empress. And we did see the Queen of Cups as well, too. It can be, this can be um, somebody's mother. Um, and it, or this also can be, because it looked like it, it came out like that. It came out like sideways. This could be, um, this could be a fake-ass empress. Okay, someone who's not an empress and who's jealous of the real empress. This could be a karmic feminine. Okay, that's mad because a real empress is in the room. A real empress is being presented with an opportunity. Because they, they, they values and their morals align with who they really truly are. They have integrity. Who they say they are. They are when the light is out. Okay. When no one can see them. Okay. Somebody is upset with that. Somebody is mad because they don't they missed out on an opportunity. And the real empress has it. Somebody is jealous. And they're trying to project the energy towards you. Because they don't want you to have it. Okay. Like I said, this could be a karmic feminine, or with the Empress to the Queen of Cups, that could be someone. That could be a motherly, a mother figure, somebody who's you know whoever you consider that as a mother figure. You know, take it how it resonates. The Chariot, Cancer energy. Somebody is jealous. Somebody is jealous. I'm telling you, the Chariot to the Ace of Pentacles. They're jealous. I can't make this up. This is somebody who wanted you to do everything for them, okay? Somebody wanted you to do everything for them. You do everything for me, and you make and you make my life easier. Yeah, the sun card to the two of wands. You do everything for me, and you make my life easier. That's what I need you to do. Mm. Wow, seven of swords, queen of cups, page of swords. There's a water. Whoever this... I don't... And this is a child on this card. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is someone's parent, someone you consider the parent. This could be someone else's mother. This could be um, an old, you know, I did see the Queen of Pillars. This could be an older relative, somebody's mother. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But um, seven is towards Queen of Cups, pages towards a mother figure, a grandmama, or whoever you consider the mother figure. Okay. Or this could just be just a water sign. But this person with the page of swords, they're watching you. They're watching you very closely, okay? Seven of swords, this person is sneaky. Yeah, page of, page of wands to the high priestess. They know who you, whoever you are, light worker, with the page of wands, the high priestess, ace of wands. You're about to get me gifted with an opportunity. And someone is sad and regret because you decided to release them. This also gives me too with the emperors that wanted to come out sideways. Someone could have been trying to mess with someone's confidence. Okay. Somebody didn't want somebody to feel like, you know, they were good enough. Ace of Cups to the Page of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. With the death card. It's like somebody wanted to end how Somebody wanted to end this empress. They wanted this empress to be insecure. They wanted you not to feel good about yourself, not to believe in yourself. Because I'm also getting in another way too, okay? Give me another card on the empress, Holy Spirit, empress. The hangman. Yeah, whoever this person is, they have to, um, 
they must let you go. They got to let you go. And, and this person doesn't want to let you go. No, they don't want to let you go. They don't want you to free yourself from them. This is somebody who wanted to keep you trapped or confined. This is somebody who likes making you feel low, making you feel like you're not good enough. Ooh, child. I don't know whoever this person is from your past life that envies you, okay? That's having a hard time accepting whatever this opportunity is for you. They like having you in the energy of feeling down, not confident. Ooh, confirmation. Um, sabotaging things, feeling trapped. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they wanted. Tennis towards, but something is over. Something is over. Tennis towards to the four swords. You put something to rest. I'm hearing you you don't want to work with this person. And because you don't want to work with this person, this person is angry. What's this past life issue? Give me a card and hang me in, Holy Spirit. Hang me in. The Hermit. Virgo energy, Pisces energy, Libra Taurus energy. Oh. I feel like you broke free from this person. Mm -hmm. You broke free and you cancel, clear, and delete. You isolated yourself from this person and they feel in some type of way. Mm -hmm. You got some type of enlightenment on this person. Yep. It's like you detox this person out your life. You just don't want to be bothered. Ace of Swords. Spirits, listen and look, 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 look. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Four Wands. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Whoever you walk, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, whoever you walked away from, they was the one who was holding you back. They envious, jealous behind was the one who was holding you back. Spirit said, visualize success. Okay? There's new love here. Um, there's new ideas here. There's abundance here. There's new contract here. Four of Wands, this is like happy family celebration. Self-esteem, confidence, um, community, stability. Yeah, and this all comes in Eight of Cups to the Shrimp card. Yes, Eight of Cups to the Shrimp card to the lovers. After you walk away from someone, this could be a lover, okay? Um, somebody who you had love for or a soulmate, okay? But with the lovers, the Shrimp and the Eight of Cups, this comes in after you walk away from somebody who was envious. There was a lover or somebody that was envious of you or someone who you had love for. It doesn't have to be romantic to take out resonate, but someone... You walked away from envies you because they can't be a part of your success. The death card to the tower, double Scorpio energy, okay? Double Scorpio. This person is pissed. This person is pissed off. Yeah, the chariot. Mm-hmm. This person is pissed off because you're about to get some type of victory or success. The king of cups to the three of pentacles. I don't know who the hell this water sign is that wants to work with you. Um... You know, eat at your table. You know, take it how it resonates. You could be the water sign, or this could be the water sign. But um, Spirit is saying, um, mm -mm. judgment to the Six of Pentacles, to the Ten of Cups. Whoever this family member is, whoever this person that um, you had a union with, or whatever. It's like, it's a bunch of people that's under judgment. It's too many people, okay? A bunch of people that's under judgment, okay? Yeah. You're awakening to whoever whoever these people was. They only wanted what you can bring to the table. I just heard 2121. The number 2121. Could be significant. Maybe you guys need to Google that number. Yeah, I just heard 2121. Let's see. I don't understand what this, whoever this person is. They don't mean you well, you know? <clears throat> if you've been in, if you've been engaged in a period of self-reflection, keep it up because you're headed towards a breakthrough. If you have not been self-reflected well, now is the time to start. And I feel like you have with the Empress, the Hangman, clear, the Empress, clarifying the Hangman to the Hermit. You've been going within. You are, you've been detoxing yourself, okay? Been in solitude, you know, um, you know, just, just, I'm just hearing like somebody just been going within. They don't want to be bothered right now. And somebody feels like, well, way about that. 
Ooh, child. And I'm hearing that's the problem. But Spirit is saying with this Ace of, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Four Warrants, you're about to receive a breakthrough. Give me card on the Envy, Holy Spirit, the Envy, Envy, Envy. Messages on the Envy. What's this Envy, Holy Spirit? Thank you. The Envy is clarified with the Ten of Cups. This could be somebody's family. Nine of Cups. Because of some type of wish that's being granted to you. Some type of wish fulfillment. So someone family could be envying them. Yeah, the devil. Maybe someone knows that their family are very toxic. Don't want to see them win. Don't want to see them happy. Don't want to see them get this wish. <clears throat> it's like whoever these people are, they want you to come around and be around them so they could they could project and plant fear and and you know um, doubt and in, in, you know into in your energy. But they're being blocked. This is the only way of knowing to keep you down, okay? To keep you from, um, you know, feeling like the empress in the upright. Somebody likes to mess with someone's self-esteem um, so they won't be able to birth things, so they won't be fertile. Um, somebody could have also been messing with somebody's sacral chakra, meaning they womb. Um... Now, this can be for someone who's having a hard time trying to have children. Somebody could have been messing with your womb, okay? Um, this could be somebody who's very close to you, okay? Um, also, for some, for some of you who already have kids, maybe you want more kids, and, you know, you're finding a hard time, you know, um, you know, perceiving kids or getting pregnant. Somebody, somebody close to you, your family, um, has been messing with your sacral chakra, yeah, because they feel like whoever you are, if you, by you birthing kids, they know what the, these kids are going to be chosen as well. Oh, sure. Six of Pentacles to the devil. They're money hungry. They, they toxic. These are people that only care about the money. That's the only reason why they in regret with the five of cups. And they want to come around and, and, and apologize and act all, you know, sincere and, you know, like they really care. But it's only because they hurt because of some money. The tower. Somebody just hurt because they know, you know, this empress is very loving and nurturing and caring. And they know that whoever you are, they know you don't mind giving. Justice, Libra energy. They know you don't mind giving. They they know you you know you 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 will literally you know if 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 you if if someone is in your inner circle and they're on your team and you know that there's nothing that you have that you would not give them. Okay? But whoever you are, you're enlightened. You know what's up. Oh child. So something is wish fulfillment. What's the nine of cups? Or they could, this family could be seeing you as wish fulfillment. <clears throat> yeah, seven of cups. <laughs> it's like people were trying to confuse you. They wanted you to be confused. They wanted you to be in, in an illusion to think that, you know, you, you wasn't that. You wasn't that. Like, these opportunities couldn't be granted to you, you know? Uh-uh, not you. No, it's just giving me a bunch of distractions, a bunch of illusions, a bunch of confusion. That's what it's giving me justice again, okay? Justice to the magician. A lot of manipulation, but that, but it's about to, listen, you about to, listen. Justice to the shrimp, oh, things about to be balanced out, baby. Baby. Okay? Things about to be made fair. Yes. What's the seven of cups? Seven of cups on the spirit. Three of Wands. This is you moving forward. Mm -hmm. This is you moving forward. This is you freeing yourself. Okay? You freeing yourself from people that was trying to confuse you or have you in some type of illusion. Yeah. The Fool card. This is you You, you starting a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. 
Five of Wands and Page of Wands. People are jealous because you're the good news. <laughs> People are jealous because you're the good news. Okay? Yeah. They don't like that it's you. They don't like that it's you. Mm -mm, they don't like that. They don't like that. <sighs> I mean, what could you do? What could you do? Yeah, you released them. What's the release card, Holy Spirit? I feel like somebody's ancestors is handing over, you know, this inheritance to you. Something that you don't see because you're getting this breakthrough. Because you, it's like you healing your bloodline. You standing up. You're not accepting, you know, just anything allowing people to treat you any type of way, whether it's family, lovers, whoever. You standing up. Something that maybe, you know, your ancestors couldn't do at one point in time. You know, as you heal you, you heal your you heal your ancestors, you heal your bloodline. You heal the people that comes after you. And people in your family or, or lovers, people are mad that it's you. It's you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the shirt card, I'm telling you. Justice, again. Some type of inheritance is coming in from you. This Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you, it brings in a lot of abundance. Okay, a lot of success. And whoever these energies is, they're worried about you getting this. But Spirit said in the beginning, they you're not who they need to be worried about. Because what's going to come after them? I, this is like, how many times we don't see the Justice card? Okay? Oh, it's, it's going down. It's going down. The Lovers to the Six of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, somebody from your past is definitely reminiscing about you, thinking about you, wanting to reconcile with you. But with the Nine of Pentacles, it looks like you standing strong with the Two of Wands and your decision to be single. You know, <clears throat> you don't want to deal with energies that's codependent on you. What's the Justice card? I feel like they're very beautiful. Somebody feels like there's nobody. If somebody's that beautiful, they they have to be with someone. They have to be with someone. No, the heck they don't. Somebody is standing in their independence and they repping that. It ain't your fault you look good or you handsome. What's the justice card, Holy Spirit? Oh, that's too many. What's the justice? The justice, thank you. The justice is the death card. Scorpio energy. This new beginning, <clears throat> this new beginning, it changes everything. It, it makes things fair. It makes things balanced. It makes things right. Okay? It's making things right. <clears throat> What's the death card? Thank you. The death card is clarified with the king of wands and the seven of swords. Whoever this person is, they are upset because you're walking away. Things are changing. You change. Okay, you had the strength and, and, and courage to move forward with your life. Somebody is not feeling that. Somebody is not feeling that. Okay? This is somebody who wants to sleep with you because of your sacred energy. They know how, how fertile, how abundant you are. Yeah, because I heard earlier, somebody feels like there's no way you can be so beautiful or handsome and be single. Somebody does not believe that you're just in your independent energy and you're okay with that. Somebody feels like you gotta be with someone. Oh, yeah, six of wands. <laughs> and you successful. And you're a powerful manifester with the magician. I see, um, I see manifestation powers early. I didn't take it though. Mm. What's the seven of swords? The Sun card and the Eight of Pentacles. Who shall? See, this person is sneaky and they're a liar. The only reason why they want to come in and work with you because they see you in this Sun energy. They feel like you're good, you know, you're good luck to work with, or um, you know, it would be very um, abundant, very, you know, it would bring in a lot of prosperity for them. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Wands, High Priestess. Somebody doesn't like the fact that whatever you do, you're skilled at it and it makes you very happy. You love what you do. 
somebody feels oblig ob obligated to what you have. You could have exposed this person with the sun card to the seven of swords. You could have exposed this person. Maybe you've seen this person as a cheater, a liar. Somebody could have been after somebody for what they do for work or, you know, what they, um, you know, what they bring to the table. I'm hearing somebody missed doing activities with you. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. It's like somebody wanted you to be back and forth, you know, juggling, being, um, causing some type of imbalance, but you're not. Now that you walked away from a situation with the Ace of Wands and High Priestess, it's like your intuition guides you out of a situation and now you get a new beginning. Mm. What's the high priestess? It's like whoever these people are that that you was once close to, they 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 feeling like we can get past this. They they like can we get past this? Like yeah, the world card. I can't make it up. The high priestess of the world. Like the world to the nine of pentacles. I'm telling you. I'm hearing, like, can we get past this? Or oh, we can get past this. So somebody who treated you filthy, lied, scheme, did all of this, they're like, okay, I know I did all this in the past, but how can we get past this? It's like wherever you're going, I want to go too. You know, if you, it's, it's giving, they, they want to they wanna know how can we get past this. Nine of Pentacles. The star card. They like, how can we get past this nine of pentacles to the star? How can we get past this? Queen of Cups to the Nine of Wands. It's like someone's feeling insecure. Um, someone feels insecure because they feel like they broke the trust with you. Two of swords. They didn't see they somebody didn't see you becoming this star, this nine of pentacles. They didn't see you come into this energy. When somebody knocked you down. When somebody tried to mess with your self-esteem, when somebody tried to tear you down, okay, or just take from you, they had no they had no idea that you would be the star. They had no idea you will, you will once be so, so successful. This is what's coming in for you, Sunseeds. Yes, the magician to the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, Six of Wands. I'm telling you, they had no idea you would be this successful. They had no idea you would be this person. The, the Magician, Ten of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Success, victory, rewards, accolades, inheritance. It's like somebody's ancestors is passing down the abundance. The abundance goes to this person. They are, you are, your ancestors picked you. Out of everybody in the bloodline, your ancestors picked you to be the chosen one. Yes, that's, I can't make it up. That's the judgment. They, I'm telling you. And people feel some type of way. It's like, why did you have to get the gifts? Why did you have... Look at everything that they took you through. Lovers, family members. Every, I mean, your ancestors chose you. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're not codependent. It's like people... Like, there's no way that you could just be doing... You could be doing all of that by yourself single. It got to be someone next to you that you're giving to. Or somebody got to be, you know, reaping the benefits. Or somebody... No, somebody... <laughs> Somebody just like, mm -mm, no, this is something that they doing for so, okay? They're not, they're not putting up with lovers who want to, you know, mistreat them, hurt them and, and cheat on them and do them anyway and then tell them they love them, you know? No, somebody is healing themselves and as they heal themselves, it heals their bloodline. Somebody is standing strong in their independence, you understand? And their ancestors are rooting for them. Because as they heal, they heal their whole bloodline. You know? Somebody feels like one person can't have all of the success. They cannot. Somebody is mad that it's you. And it's not just one person. It's a lot of people here. That's envy. It's, it's like it's hard for them to accept this. Acceptance and envy. And these are people that you share past life with. But I'm telling you, I'm hearing it. You're not the one that needs to be worried about. Okay? 
Listen, it's look. <laughs> okay? I'm telling you. They have you have a lot of people, okay, in the spiritual realm supporting you. Okay, someone is very much high ranking. Okay, and these people that wants to come in and, and mm -mm. I'm hearing like, how can we get past this? Okay, how can we get past this? Yes, service, relationships, and growth and death. Yeah, and loneliness and laws of attraction. It's like whoever this energy is, they feel alone without you. Mm -hmm. They see you growing. Okay, they see you growing with the, this this growth in service. It's like the eight of pentacles. You working on yourself. You growing. You expanding. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, love. I love you, sun seeds. I hope this reading helped you guys. I hope it definitely resonated. Uh, yeah, sacral chakra and parents. It's like somebody was definitely messing with someone's womb. How, what you know, how they birth, what they create. But Archangel Michael was here, y'all, yeah? protecting this indigo. <laughs> so whatever someone was trying to do, I feel like, yeah, abundance and manifestation power and goddess. I told you guys, um, I seen it earlier. Somebody's a powerful manifester. Goddess, abundance, and manifestation power. You are not who they need to be worried about. Whatever they did, it's coming back. And they know what they did. Yup. Spirit is saying, yeah, it, it, it's safe for you to be powerful. Solar plexus chakra, clear yourself, crown chakra. You have all the chakras out here. Somebody was trying to cause an imbalance to your chakras. Yup. And send you like mixed signals. <clears throat> I do feel like some people might be sincere. You know, some people might be sincere. And, um, you know, want to know how can we get past this? How can we start over? And then there's some people that you might feel like, you know what? Um, I just wouldn't even, I wouldn't even backtrack if it was the last thing, if they was the last people walking on the earth and I had to be alone forever, you know? So take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for all you guys because, you know, everybody feels different, you know? But whatever the success is that's coming in for you guys, I mean, you're going to, you're going to be very happy. You're going to be very, very happy. Someone is a whole goddess. Ascendant master is giving me. Okay? And a lot of people are in regret because they feel like you got away. The healer. <laughs> you healed yourself. You healed yourself. So you was able to heal your bloodline. Okay? Your ancestors is giving you something. And I feel like you're going to come into contact with a lot of like-minded people like you. You know? Great, 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 